And just to list some kind of key terminology um, about polynomials. Um, so if we have kind of an example polynomial, f of x equals x to the seventh uh, plus 9x to the fifth minus 3x squared plus 2x uh, plus, let's call it plus 12. Um, there's a few different things that you want to know. Um, kind of the most important um, thing to know is the degree of the polynomial. The degree of the polynomial is the highest power. Okay, so in this case, we have a polynomial. The highest power present is 7. So we call this a polynomial of degree 7. Um, polynomials with certain degrees, like a polynomial of degree 2, is called a quadratic. A polynomial of degree 1 is called a linear function. Um, but you can call any polynomial with any degree just a polynomial of degree n. Okay, so in this case, a polynomial of degree 7. Um, we'll call um, the leading coefficient is... The leading coefficient is the coefficient um, of that highest power or that highest degree term. So in this case, um, the coefficient of this x to the seventh term is 1. Okay, um, And we'll also often talk about the constant term. Okay, so in this case... Um, our last term is 12 without an x next to it at all, so it's a constant, so we call this the constant term. Okay, so these are three of the kind of most important um, pieces of terminology that you'll hear around um, polynomials. Um, now, one other thing that I wanted to mention uh, regarding polynomials is the zeros, where um, you'll sometimes uh, hear them called roots or, uh, or solutions. You'll hear them called roots or solutions. Um, we've looked a lot at zeros or x-intercepts for um, quadratics and for linear equations. Um, in general, they tend to be a lot more difficult to find um, with polynomials. So a lot of times you'll see a polynomial presented in intercept form. Um, so just like we had intercept form for quadratics, where you'll have it like f of x equals, you know, say, for example, x minus 2 times x plus 3 or something like that, you can have any polynomial in intercept form. Um, so if you have it in intercept form, um, let's do a, a kind of generic one. So I'm not going to actually plug in specific numbers. We'll do like A, B, and C. So if we have, uh, let's say we have x minus A to the fifth times x minus B times x plus C squared. Okay, this polynomial has um, three real roots or three real zeros. Um, and what they are okay, are a, b, and negative c, okay, um, so it's always kind of the opposite sign um, of what's in the parentheses. So here we have a negative sign, here we have a negative sign, so it's positive A, positive B. Here we have a plus sign, so it's negative C. Kind of like um, with the um, the x-intercept um, of a parabola that's written in intercept form. Um, but one thing that you'll hear uh, talked about with the roots of polynomial functions is their so-called multiplicity. Um, so the multiplicity of a root um, refers to basically how many times um, that root occurs. So um, the multiplicity is given basically by the power on um, the factor that gives the root. So here, um, this x minus a, it's got a power of 5. So it's a root of multiplicity 5. Um, b is a root of multiplicity 1. And c, uh, negative c is a root of multiplicity Two, okay. Um, so if we plugged values in here, um, let's say that we plugged in, let's say seven and three and two. 
So we would expect we would expect to see seven as a root, we'd expect to see three as a root, and we'd expect to see negative two as a root. Um, so let's take a look and see if that actually happens. So if we plug this in um, on our calculator, we'll do um, x minus seven to the fifth times x minus three times x plus two squared and hit graph. Now we should see it pass through here, here, and over here. And so we can see um, it didn't draw it in there, I think, because the, uh, the graph is just moving so quickly, it didn't really move through here. But you can see if you plug in negative 2, you do get a y value of 0. Um, and then if you plug in positive 3, you get 0. And if you plug in um, 7, you also get 0. Um, so just to look at some important terminology related to polynomials, um, this terminology will show up a lot in the, um, the various Alex assignments that you're going to see, so, uh, so always good to know.